my friends. I am Stephanie Haney, and thank you for joining me here for your midweek good news break here on It's All Good News. I hope that you are in the mood to smile because we have tons of good stuff to share with you today, including a cross-country accomplishment. We'll introduce you to the Ohio man who has now officially ran a marathon in all 50 states. And while we're all decking the halls at home for whatever holiday we celebrate, we'll take a look at the theme for this year's Macy's window displays in New York. Plus, you'll meet Walter the Bowling Boxer. Yes, we are talking about a dog who knows how to bowl, and it is amazing. But first, you need to know about this huge gesture of generosity from a big music star happening right now here in Cleveland. Country singer Kane Brown, who is not from here, by the way, is really investing in our Cleveland community. Before his concert at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse on November 21st, he popped into the Boys and Girls Club on Broadway Avenue, opened up his checkbook and told them that he is paying for the gym to be renovated. The gym is getting a new floor, audio and electrical work, backboards, bleachers, paint, and a new scoreboard. And he's doing it because he knows how much having access to these kinds of things meant to him when he was growing up. There's no telling where I would have been staying out of trouble if I didn't have sports. So I love basketball and we get to give these kids a new gym today. Um, and I think it's amazing and I hope they love it. Kane Brown will be back in February to reopen the gym when he's back in town for the NBA All-Star Weekend, which, by the way, is its own good news. I cannot wait for that show to come to town, and thank you, Kane Brown. And you know we're here to share your good news, so if you have seen something good or had something good happen to you lately, we need you to tell us about it. You can do that by using the hashtag GoodNewsCLE when you post online with your pictures and videos. You can also share what's good with you through the WKYC app using the Near Me feature. Just tap on Near Me in the bottom right corner and the app will tell you what to do from there. It could not be easier. Now, to a truly touching story from Warrensville Heights where a mom, sadly, lost her daughter Jordan to substance abuse. Even though Jordan is no longer with us, it's how her spirit is living on that brings her mother, Lynn, peace. Jordan's liver was donated to Roman Dan thanks to Life Bank. And at a recent walk for the nonprofit organization, Lynn got to meet Roman. From that moment on, they formed a special bond, and Lynn is comforted knowing that her daughter is still doing good in this world. As a mom, I can't say enough of how grateful I am for how, how good he's taking care of her. I know where Jordan is, and, yes. and, and I'm at peace with that, you know? Mm -hmm. And it makes me happy to see you happy. Now, every year on Jordan's birthday, Lynn and Roman light luminaries to celebrate her life. To hear more from Lynn and Roman, you have got to check out this full story told by our Lindsay Buckingham. You can find that on WKYC.com. Okay, check this out. Dwayne The Rock Johnson had a special surprise for one very deserving fan. The Rock gave him his own custom-made truck, gave it to a Navy veteran, Oscar Rodriguez, with a personal message. The Rock wanted to give Oscar the Porsche that he drives in his new movie, Red Notice, but Porsche said no, so he said that's fine, and he just gave him his personal Ford Raptor truck. Afterwards, Oscar posted these pictures on his Instagram page, saying he collapsed in grateful tears when he read the letter The Rock sent with the truck. The Rock said he did it because Oscar helps his community and takes care of his elderly mother, and we love to see someone taking care of you for a change, Oscar. Congratulations. All right, I've run a few 5Ks and two half marathons in my time, but that is nothing compared to what Tom Pickerel is doing. This 71-year-old Superman from right here in Ohio has now run a marathon in all 50 states. He is from Northwest Ohio, but he started this journey while on vacation with his wife in Hawaii. Now, what I think about when I think about vacation is not necessarily running a marathon, but Tom, you are an inspiration to all of us. That's where he ran 26.2 miles round trip up to the Diamond Head Volcano. And then his daughter said, hey, dad, how about running 26.2 miles in every single state? Casual. You know, it took him a little longer than he wanted it to take. But here's Tom explaining why the timing is actually pretty perfect. Should have happened last year, but the pandemic got in the way and they canceled it. So it put it off till this year. Well, this year was Elaine and I's 50th wedding anniversary. Plus, I've spent, this is my 50th year involved in education. So all the 50s kind of lined up. I'd say that's pretty serendipitous, pretty perfect. Okay, so 
Now what? With all the states checked off his list, Tom says he would like to run a half marathon in Paris and take it back to Nevada to run a night race on the Las Vegas Strip. Now, I think that would be very cool. It would look very cool. So maybe strap a GoPro on for that one, Tom, so that we can all live vicariously through you. Now to New York City, where it's time for the Macy's holiday window displays to light up Herald Square for the 2021 season. This year, the store is going with a new theme and making a bright eyed blue reindeer named Tiptoe center stage. Now these windows tell the story of a little reindeer who was too shy to fly with Santa's sleigh team on Christmas night. A representative for Macy's says the company hopes Tiptoe's story will inspire people to find courage and believe in themselves. And that is a beautiful message to drive home, not just for the holiday season, but really year round. And it's not bad to look at either. Okay, to wrap things up here today, this one's for the bowling fans in the room. Maybe you can throw a few strikes, you know, with your opposable thumbs and all, but could you do that without using your hands at all? Check out this video of a dog in Wycliffe tearing it up on the lanes. This is Walter, and while Walter was out with his owners at Mugshots Bar on Euclid Avenue, you can see here, he was ready to roll. So once he gets that one ball in, not only does he wait patiently to get the okay to do it again, but that ball comes back and he's ready to go. And as soon as he rolls it, as soon as he hits those pins, he is so excited when those pins fall. But look at that, look at that patience right there, just waiting, waiting for the okay listening to his owner, getting that cue from the owner, gets that ball up, sends it back down the lane. So excited. Walter, that's how I feel when I'm bowling too, because he is a very good boy. I'm gonna go ahead and say each bowl is a strike. Bonus points for cuteness. That's how we're scoring this game. And that'll do it for us for your good news break this week. I hope that made you smile as much as it did for me to get to share these stories with you and so that we can keep doing that. Make sure you keep sending your good news our way by using that hashtag GoodNewsCLE, uploading your pictures, your videos, and your stories using the Near Me feature on the WKYC app, or by emailing us at goodnews at WKYC.com. Remember to like and share this video, subscribe to our WKYC YouTube page, and follow us on social media at WKYC on Twitter and WKYC3 on Instagram. And we will be back with more good news next week, my friends.